<sighs> Hello again folks, and welcome back to a new Let's Play. This is Fatal Frame 3 The Tormented. I'm your Dungeon Master Darius, and I, this, is, this is gonna be like a band-aid, just, just right off, right off. This is, as far as I recall, the last of the PlayStation 2 line of Fatal Frame games. And pretty much since like the mid-ish way point of Fatal Frame 2, uh, I've essentially been blind to the rest of the city series. I know next to nothing. I know absolutely nothing. And that kind of terrifies me more than you think because, you know, now I'm, I'm now I don't know what's going to happen. Don't know what's going on. Uh, only thing I did was to change some settings. As you can see, this is now full screen because reasons. And, um, yeah, I'm not looking forward to this. I'm playing on easy because I'm a bitch. Should we get going? I heard this house was haunted. Too bad it's not. Mm. Rumors are just rumors. I'm gonna load these up. Okay, yeah, I got control of the character. Although I was slow as balls. I already have my camera. Well, I have a camera. Not the camera, is it? Oh boy. Just a boy. Oh, wait a second, it's now. It's probably gonna go through tutorial y stuff for me. Professional camera. Ray prefers slightly older cameras. Oh wait. Can't go over to limited items yet. I don't have a map. I took exactly one photo. No points. No files. Can I not alter the settings yet? Oh, there we are. Are we are. Let's see. Subtitles are on. 
Also, during that cutscene, did anyone, like, anyone that had, uh, headphones, did you hear, like, the faintest of whispers? Because I did. I don't like it. I don't like it. Um... Third person, change film, directional button. Oh man, they changed the layout. They they changed everything on me in this, didn't they? Okay. Running is still X, or square. Hi. Do I get points for that? Hey, I got points for that. I'm sure this is fine. Uh. Oh, goody, he's gone. Great. Peachy Keen. Now the question is, do I follow the creepy guy that kind of looks like the guy that seems to have died in the car crash? Or do I explore? I'm suddenly hating having explored. Hello? Oh, you're a doll, aren't you? Oh, I hate that. That's creepy. Freaking thought it was a person. Oh, hi. Okay. That's fine. New game. Uh, new game, need a new pair of pants. Uh-huh. I kind of wonder, what is she even doing here? That's... Okay, that is a mirror. Oh, God. You know when they... You know when they have mirrors in a goddamn horror thing, they're gonna... Put it to use of like, oh, look at this, look at the beer. How did that not count? Call shenanigans. Oh, hi. Uh, yep, should have expected. Expected as much. Don't mind. Oh, you are casually floating at me. Cool. You, you bastard. Stay here. I Forever. don't want to. I don't want to stay here for the, like, 8 to 10 hours that I estimate that this game is going to take me. Let alone forever. Oh yeah, this looks sanitary. Why sanitary? I don't know. Don't, There's still something I need to say. Don't don't go under the shrine. Go around the shrine. I can't go around the shrine. Fine. The reason why you don't want to, if you see ghosts and whatnot, you, like these are supposed to be like portals to the other world or something like that. That's why I'm wondering what if if the game slowed down is just a natural thing for even because I'm running this off of PlayStation Three.
okay? Oh, it, it was nothing. I would very much beg to differ, but okay. This place is... Oh, lovely. Here we are again. Really quick, though. Set subtitles on. What the shit? Alright. Whatever you say, game. Okay, so it's very much a. Can't really see anything. Got a, got a freaking camera and a flashlight for a reason, man. Double chests on straw mattings, but on the earth and ground. The drawers are shut tight. Can't open. I can't open them. They must have swollen with moisture. Reasonable. Huh. This definitely deters off so far off of the um. Well, at least this particular area deters off of the whole fixed camera angle thing. Oh, there it is. Maybe it's a hallway thing. I press... Oh, good. I hate... Hate that. Just hate that. I, would I be an idiot to say that this place looks familiar? Twofer. Even getting the points for it. I think I just heard something shuffling to my left. Hi up there. No points for that one. Oh well, that didn't seem intentional in the slightest. Something is reflecting light. An old-fashioned bellows camera, some kind of occult markings in case metal covered... In chased metal? What's chased metal? Regardless. Covered the whole body, it still looks to be in good condition. 
Some old-fashioned writing carved on the back. Camera Obscura. Maybe that's the name of the camera. Basic functions and shoots. Added. You can consult the file. Choose file. Start menu. Gonna hate this. We're gonna be safe. We're all gonna have a good time. Okay, cool. I can actually swap between the ammo in this thing, although I can guarantee that I probably will not, simply because... Idiocy. Oh, good. This is this is the save. Save lantern. Glad they brought this back. Yay. I might be mildly stressing about this game already. <laughs> Creating. Now saving. Okay. Yep. Gonna hate this. I so far love the atmosphere of um, it being winter. That said, why is our character not wearing a goddamn, I don't know, long sleeve shirt? Like a medicine chest, but everything inside the drawers has rotted and turned black. Yeah, now let's not say we did. First person shooter mode. Dun, 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 or would Doom Guy music sound better? Okay. Oh, was a little bit too slow for my taste. So I'm assuming that the Kona Obscura is going to work much in the same way as the previous game. I don't want to look in there. A peephole has been opened the in the wall. The sound seems to come be coming from here. Stand in front of the hole and press X to have a look through it. Oh, not through the camera, because I'd rather look through the camera. Who's there? Uh, no one. No one. No one. It is no one. See, times like this, you just leave. Oh, hi. I could not tell what. Stay back. Go away. Uh, did she like disappear? Torn, I can see into the room. It's a bit dark room. Several lights can can be yeah, seem to be burning, but it's dark in the corners and hard to see. Are none of these doors? No. Hi. Were you the gal in the cutscene at the start? One that was apparently being held down and nailed to the ground. Yeah. Okay, we're limited in the number of seven type shots. Oh yeah, we already do have some photo points. Excellent. Do I still have to grab spirit orbs? Oh, does easy mode make it so as... Yeah, I think easy mode makes it so as at least one of these starts at a higher rate, higher volume. Volume? Value. And I can't see about the upgraded lenses just yet. Oh wait, does it actually? No, that's the stats of the camera itself. Alright. Well, this is going swimmingly. Why don't we save first before we go back downstairs now that we got the camera obscura? Because, uh... Yeah, this game just might throw me 
right into the fray. Ladies. How did I miss that? I call shenanigans. I kind of hope that everything does take place within the manor here. I don't know. I, I've spoken on it before when it comes to the Fatal Frame 2. But, like, there's something about the claustrophobia of the, um, of the first game and staying within the certain manor areas that made it particularly additionally spooky. Not saying it wasn't a spooky game. It had a really good story and Definitely had its moments of, no thank you, I don't want it anymore. Just, uh... Less moments of, no thank you, I don't want anymore. Oh, I can go up the ladder, okay. I thought my character was gonna be all like, eh, I'm not sure about... Going into decap... Uh, decapitated? <laughs> Dilapidated house. Uh, bellflower design. All right. I'm I'm holding circle as though that's gonna make it so as I slide down like in a Dark Souls game. Oh, how I could only wish. Yield by some strong power. Ah. Am I am I gonna have to capture the uh, mother daughter duo? I saw. Alright, fine. Old pot hanging from the hook hasn't been used in a long time. I'm kind of also assuming that this is one of those games where I gotta be checking absolutely everything for secrets and whatnot. Can't open them. Like the stone mirrors and the whatnot. Which by the way, I'm still kinda of miffed. That the um, second game, the instant death stuff, stone mirrors just didn't work. Explanation of health controls has been added to files. I did no such thing. Oh, hi. How you doing? Okay, that's gonna be a little. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, god. Okay, I think they're... There? Oh, shit. There it is. I did do such thing. Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll send them... Maybe I'll send you to your daddy. Eh. <laughs> Here. Hi, how you doing? Am I getting less points because I'm using the shoddy film? Nope. Damn it. Damn. Cease. Cease. Desist.
cool. Is this where I'm gonna have an angry little girl ghost following me the rest of the game now? Can I upgrade my shit? God, 59 shots. How the hell have I used that many so far? Oh, 59 was the... 14 ammo. Never mind. Shit up. We be running, running for the front door, cause I'd like to leave right now. Everything okay? I... I heard you cry out. I was worried. You've been having so many nightmares lately. What? I'm fine. But I... I... I just... had a bad dream. Was it all just a dream? Anyways, I better get up. Okay. During the course of the game, when you find new information, it will be recorded in the notebook. When there is a new entry in the notebook, the title will appear in the top right. You can access the notebook from the menu. If you press the L1 button while the name item name is shown on the top right, you can refer to that item. Oh boy. Bruise appears. 
felt a sharp pain in my shoulders when I woke up. For a moment, I thought I would, I would see some kind of bruise on my skin, but then I looked again. There was nothing there. Was it just a dream? Abandoned house wasn't. I wasn't motivated enough to find out much about the place before I went. About all I knew was that it was supposed to be haunted. What was behind the strange daydream vision I had in that house in the snow? Was I just worn out, still scarred by the, scared rather by the accident, or are the rumors true? Was he really there? Manner of sleep. The ruined house I wandered in my dream the night I got back after my vision on that assignment. Something about it reminded me of the haunted house where I saw you. It seemed too real to be a dream. Daydreams, visions, maybe I'm just tired. You asshole. My fiance, he was an editor who, editor who worked on books of folklore, philosophy, and anthropology. We met as students. He was the opposite of me in every way. Quiet and kind, like gently fallen rain. Like a soft shower that washes everything clean. Passed away two months ago in an accident caused by my careless driving. That sucks. Younger sister of Yu's best friend. She lives with me now and works as my assistant. Haven't met her brother. Wait. Inasaki. Are you... Okay, at the risk of sounding like I'm an idiot. Is that the... Miku from the first game she told me she had lost a relative in an accident. She helps me out in all kinds of work, just not all kinds of ways, not just work. She's cheerful and hardworking. Not for her, I don't know how I would have made it through after you passed away. Like she looks incredibly similar. The tattooed woman. The woman who appeared in my dream of the manor, her whole body covered in blue tattoo. It came closer and I ran away before I knew what was happening. All I remember is an intense fear. I can still feel her cold stabbing fingers on the back of my shoulder where she touched me. Hard to believe it was only a dream. It wasn't a dream. The mother and daughter. Mother and child who appeared in a dream in old fashioned kibonos. They were looking for someone calling out in a sad voice to him. Who could they be? Well. Uh, the desk is a sketchbook and an open appointment book and the handwriting warning inside. Don't work too hard. Okay. Photo books and newspapers. Miku bought most of the photography books for me. She has a good eye for these things. Most of them I have hardly even glanced at. There isn't any tape I want to listen to now. Oh no, we're going to have to listen to more dudes with tape and whatnot. On the shelf is a camera I never use anymore. I used to enjoy using this camera back in the days when I used to take pictures for fun. Ah, so she's a professional. Pieces of my work are pinned up on the wall. There are more scenery shots now than there used to be. Don't feel ready yet for projects that involve taking pictures of people. My clothes are thrown carelessly into the closet. Never been a tidy person unless I make a real effort. Things could get like this. Miku must not have seen it seen in here. Yes, she would never have left it in this state. There. I can easily relate to that. I don't know why I decided to look in there again. Hello. Oh Lord. Probably colored roll down shade hangs over the window, picked it out and bought it for us the other day. Good morning, Ray. Yeah. Hello. See you right across the living room on the first floor. It's the main reasons we took the house. A little big for two people, but it's nice and cozy and would like the idea of always being able to know that the other person was around. This is Miku's room, even if this is my house, I don't really like to go in here into her room without permission. No Miku wouldn't care at all though. I mean... Probably still for the best. Use room. Ever since the accident, I try not to come in here unless I have a good reason. Do we have one now? Nope. 
apparently not. This is a pretty big, like, look how big this hallway is. Beavis. Where the hell is this house located? I mean, besides in Japan. That's an obvious, well, duh. Good morning, Ray. Looks like it's going to rain all day today, too. You don't have to work so much this week, so why don't you try to relax? You've been working too much lately. You were woken up by a bad dream this morning. Not to mention what happened when we were out collecting data the other day. Anyways, let's try to take it easy today. That reminds me, there was a letter. It's addressed to you. Letter from K... K? Kai? K. I'm gonna go K. Dear you, sorry for not writing for so long. How are things with your fiancé? I'm continuing my investigation of the urban legend. Like I thought, my niece's symptoms bear many similarities to the strange disease so associated with the urban legend. I think most of the story is groundless rumor, but I've heard there was a psychi psychiatric study done. If you have it, I'd like to see it. Maybe it will provide a clue. I'd like I'm taking a break from all my other work to devote myself to studying the urban legend. I'd like your help. According to the documents I've studied, that camera I sent to you is apparently a rare camera obscura. Given where I found it, it may have some connection to the missing people and the urban legend. If you hear anything, please tell me. Regards, K. Amakura. From K. Amakura, he's written several times before. Have you still not told him about you? Camera obscura? I wonder if it would be in the user room. See, I, oh, L1, not R1. Nope. 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 Yes. Never met him personally, but he was a friend of you. He used to write from time to time. You seems to have known lots of people, both professionally and privately. According to a letter, he and you were both doing research into urban legends. Maybe the camera obscura was somehow connected to that. I should tell him about the accident. Oh, and it also has a thing of the different ghosts. 33 different kinds of ghosties. Apparently the, um... Uh, two ghosts don't count. Do we have a cat? The corner's ordinary potted plant. And after his Miku's shop, come think of it, Miku looks after just about everything in the house these days. I think we got a cat. I would like to pet this cat. Just saying. What was I going to kind of go to use room and regret it? Could have sworn there was a thing where it's like, if you touch the camera obscura, you see the spirits, but the spirits also see you. Or something about some sort of camera obscura that you owned written in that letter. Camera obscura, could it be the same camera camera I saw in my dream? I mean yes. Theoretically. Ray, may I help you with something? Oh, I just wanted to ask you.
See, this is the part where Miku reads the letter and is all like, Oh god, no. We burn that sucker immediately. We, we do not associate with it. Holy crap. What year is this supposed to take place in? Because I'm looking at that sucker and I... Like a freaking 80s PC. Oh, and it folds too. One second. I gotta take a look at this sucker more. Ah, holy crap. What time period is this supposed to take place in? Because, god damn, I like that. There are typed in handwritten letters on the desk, along with several books. I've hardly touched anything in here since that day. I just can't bring myself to tidy it any everything away. There's a notebook left out on the top of the desk. Perhaps somebody was in the middle of working. Oh boy. That's 11 pages. Many of the urban legends classified as Lost Village are modeled on real incidents, such as a village was ruined when one villager mass massacred the others. Okay. There are others. They are often an amalgamation of well-known actual incidents, legend and oral tradition. Right. Settings such as the isolated mountain village, in there, or bygone customs like night thirsts, Thrists, thrists, or ceremonies often act to trigger the incidents themselves, and these in turn become the motif of urban legends. The reason for the popularity of ur urban legends may lie in the notion of the view of the country from the city, or the modern bias towards the ancient. To people in the modern city, the village is the wilderness, and those who live there are different. Perhaps that scorn, or fear, finds expression in the urban legend. For that reason, the setting of the legend must be the isolated mountain village. Further, bygone customs are attractive elements that end up acting to provoke the incident. As a case in point, there is a story about the area around the Minikami Dam where Mayu was recently went missing. This game's connected to the other two. God damn it. The Lost Village. In the mountains of the Minikami area, there was once a massacre in the so-called Lost Village. Years ago, on the night of a certain festival, there was a great massacre, and the village disappeared from the map. Only one woman survived. If you walk in the fo forest where the village once lay, there is a small guardian statue, and if you continue, you will come to a shrine gate that forms the entrance of the village. Did you, if you should pass through the gate, you will never return. The night of the massacre continues in this village where, where day will never again break, and a woman's horrific laugh rings throughout the village. Thanks for reminding me, I only just recently finished playing that one. Next we have the Manor of Bizarre Murders, where the same tragedy re Yep, yeah. okay, that's the... God damn it. Its scale is smaller, but generally speaking, it resembles the pattern of the village, as it is made up of elements based on true incidents. Below is an example of this. It has to do with Mafuyu's disappearance. The House of Mutilation. Hmm. In the mountain area of Himuro, there remains a manor where years ago was said to, have been, to be a massacre. There have always been vanishings in the nearby forest, and many of the spirited away are said to end up in the manor. Their corpses have been found with both hands, legs, and heads severed off. One more example is the seem seemingly related manner of sleep urban legend that I'm researching now. Manor of Sleep legend was picked up in the various magazines in the 1960s, but incidents with very similar characteristics can be found here and there in older media. This newspaper is from the 1900s, and it is, to, is of no relation to when the Manor of Sleep legend was taken up, but the background of the spirited aways and those people's latter conditions bear many similarities to the Manor of Sleep urban legend. I'm still investigating, but these incidents may trace back to the 19th century, and I may, ha and I have seen legends in several folklore books that have become the bi basis of the manner of sleep. A house asleep urban legend. Perhaps this is what Kay was asked to investigate. You add a well-organized notebook on your urban legends to your file. After you receive new information, you may find related books and documents in bookcases or desks. Old newspaper is stuck in the notebook. Am I going to have to read this one too? Yep. Theories of vanishings across the region. According to sources, before dawn yesterday, a mother and daughter... Oh lord. 
who live in Myojin Village went missing. The missing are Maki Kusahara and her daughter Kozue. Hope I'm reading those names right. Since last year, the two have been searching for Kusahara's missing husband. The two reportedly wandered the mountains nearly every day. The informant says, I haven't seen them for several days, so I went to visit them. There was no answer, so I went inside, but they were gone. You know, I only saw some black soot-like marks. Similar disappearances are being reported across the area, and some are calling them spirited aways. Great. According to the notebook left on his desk, Yu was doing some research for Kei Amakura. His notes are full of accounts of old urban legends and newspaper clippings about disappearances and people who were spirited away. Yeah, too bad this isn't a Miyazaki spirited away. And books you use for work, time when I used to pass, but only passing face. Am I going to have to come in, in and around the house every so often to look into the research? I decided not to tidy them away. Once they were in boxes, I knew they'd never come out again. That's not a terrible thing. It's called acceptance. Oh, look. It's the it's the thing. It's the thing on the... It's the thing. The thing that's going to make me regret playing the thing. On the shelf are a letter and a camera similar to the one I saw in my dream. It looks like the letter is from K. Dear you, during my research on the Manor of Sleep urban legend, I finally made it to a certain deserted village lost even from the map. I found this camera in a huge abandoned house near the village. My niece Mio, when Mayu disappeared, she caused you a lot of trouble, so you probably remember her, saw this camera and she was scared stiff. I wonder if it reminded her of that unspeakable incident. For now, I'd like you to take care of the camera. You know about antiques, so could you look it over for me? I don't think you'll be able to reach me for a bit, but I'll contact you, so let me know what you find then. Guards K. Amakura. Mm-hmm. Could this be the same as the camera obscura I saw in my dream? This is older than the one in the dream, and the inscription on the back is illegible. Even so, it does look very similar to the camera obscura. I tried pushing the shutter button, but there was no response. Looks like it's broken. There's still an old film inside the camera obscura. Don't look at it. Musty film. The film looks pretty old, but it doesn't seem to have been spoilt by being exposed at all. What could be on it? I wonder if I can develop it in the dark room. An old camera etched with words, camera obscura. I found a camera like the one I'd picked up in the dream in Yu's room. Apparently, Kay sent it to him. Is this the same camera I saw in my dream? Oh, boy. Okay, so now I... I gotta go to this, uh... Development room. Be all like, hey... What's on the film? I. So. It seems like you're having a lot of nightmares lately. Are you alright? Don't suppose you remember anything about that manor incident? It's raining again. There is. It's raining again. You know, the background of the rain is really soothing. And it makes me really want to move to pretty much any place that has rain again. Here comes the rain again. Alright, so where... Is this the developing room? God, this house is huge. Look at this place. You can see my face reflect on the mirror. I lost a little weight again. There's no one in the bathroom. I just so increasing that I've just been taking showers. And this place is pretty well lit for, um, I don't know, middle of the day? Rainy in the middle of the day? I, lo I knocked on the toilet door, but it looks like no one is inside. 
Right. See, you will step into this room, you assume this is Silent Hill. Uh, here we are. Undeveloped film. Oh, this is the picture of the lady I had taken before. Wait. The manner of sleep is in the past. An old roll of film from inside the camera obscura. There's definitely something on the film. I wonder if I can develop it. Yes? An image has appeared of a crying woman. Just as I thought, it must have taken this during that dream. All the film has been developed. Woman whose image appeared in the film from inside the camera obscura. No doubt about it, it was the same woman I saw inside the manor in my dream. Just like with you that time. Right. Camera Obscura, the abandoned house, the picture I took in my dream. Maybe if I investigate this woman, I can find something out. I take. You know, seeing as she's essentially acting as the assistant and whatnot, I, I would probably assume that she would have also shown the camera to obscure. Camera Obscura to Miku, and then Miku would have been like, nope, nope, we are getting rid of this thing right now. Is the space for storing this cleaning things and other tools. Some of these cardboard boxes have been touched since we moved in. How long has it been since you guys moved in here? Go to the shrine. Use altar. You. Let me guess. Pause it. Pause it. As well as the... As well as cushions and bedding, the closet is full of used old books. Still, where we left them when we first moved in. I've never looked inside them. I guess they must be something must be something to do with his work. Which might be a little bit helpful in your investigations about this woman. Clothes chest that Miku brought with her from home. Inside are Miku's kimonos and the funeral morning that I have worn just once. God, this house is huge, seriously. Three bedrooms, an entire downstairs area like this? On top of? Since that day, I didn't leave the house unless I had to work. Well, that's... I feel that. God, this place is huge! Can I go into the kitchen? In. From here, you can look out across the counter. Real mom's eye view. Stuck to the refrigerator door. My work schedule, a calendar with a supermarket discount days marked on it, and post-it notes with recipes on it. Miku cooks all the meals. She seems to enjoy doing chores around the house. Didn't know what to do without her, really. I mean, won't lie. Sounds like you should just wed her. Seriously. Locker wear and fragile plates damage easily if you wash them in a machine, she says. Seriously, how old is this? I need to look into when this game takes place. Because goddamn. Hi. Miku, about the woman in this picture. I was wondering if I could get you to try and find out as much as about her as you can. Anything is fine. Yes, well, it's a very old picture, so... I found it in the user room. It's okay if you can't find anything out. There was just something about her. Understood. I'll let you know if I find anything. If you show the photos you've developed of Miku, sometimes you can ask her to investigate them for you. If you have them investigated, you can come talk to Miku later, get books and other information. How neat! Night has fallen. If you check the bed, you can sleep. By checking the camera obscura, you can save your progress. Good to know, because I should save and call an episode. Sorry for the lengthiness of the episode. I am... This is different. 
This is so very different from how um, the first two have played. Like the first two was very much, you know, go around, find things, and um, not get killed by ghosts. Whereas this is much the same, but now there's like an in-between sort of a thing. Kind of weird. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to see how I feel about it as a whole, but regardless. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I uh, hope you guys are going to enjoy this adventure as much as I'm probably going to be scared shitless. As always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.